Is your computer running slow? You are not able to do your work properly just because your computer is way slow and it is really annoying. If this is the case, please watch this whole tutorial and you will definitely be able to make your computer way faster just like a brand new computer which you bought it in the first day. These steps are very easy to follow and anyone can follow it. So the very first step is do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings. Once the setting is opened, go to the system and here you will find storage space uh, drives configure rules. So click on that and here please make sure that you turn on storage sense, automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content. So once you turn it on, you will have a lot of options. You can select uh, run storage every week, every day. I will select every week and delete files in my recycle bin from one day or you can select any other days. And you can also run your storage sense. So basically it will remove all the junk and uh, cache from your computer. You will also get the cleanup recommendation through which you can clean your computer if you have a lot of things uh, in the downloads and if there are temporary windows installation files and you can also look for large unused files so this will also help you um, making space in your computer so it will free up space as well so that's the best part once this is done do a right click in the start icon and just go to task manager now here at the very top, you will find processes, performance, app history, and startup. So here we will go to startup tab, and I'll just maximize it. Now in startup, there will be many applications which will be running in the startup. Like when you turn on the computer, these applications will also be turned on. So there are many applications which I need at the startup, like security or sound, graphics, and uh, audio so these should be enabled apart from these like graphics audio security and audio thing you can disable other applications for an example i do not want uh, microsoft edge at the startup right or steam or skype or any other product so i just need to do a right click and i need to click on disable so once you do that this will actually help a lot and your computer will be very faster so once this is done, close this window and we will also clean up the browser because this will be a complete tutorial. So no matter you're using an application, browser or overall computer performance needs to be good. So I'll go with the Google Chrome first and then we will also do it for Edge. So once this Google Chrome is open, at the top right corner, these are, uh, we have these three dots. So I'll click on that and then I'll click on settings. And here uh, we have this left hand side, we have this reset and clean up and you can clean up your computer and restore settings to your original defaults. So reset Chrome settings and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions and this will also delete cookies and other temporary site data. So if there are issues in your browser like if it's running slow and there are a lot of uh, um, extensions installed which you're not aware of, you can reset your browser this is the best way to make your browser faster and the computer faster once this is done open the microsoft edge because many of us use edge as well i also use it at the top right corner i'll click on these three dots and then i'll go to settings and here at the left hand side we have this reset settings so restore settings to their default values so i'll click on that and this will this will reset your startup page new tab page search engine pin tab this will also turn off all extensions and clear temporary data like cookies your favorite history and safe password will not be cleared so that's the best part so you can reset your browser and once this is done we will move to the next step so we have disabled the startup we have activated the storage sense we have uh, reset the browser now we will uninstall some unwanted applications so for that i'll just do a right click and i'll click on run and here i'll type appwiz.cpl and i'll click on ok now this will open up uninstall or change a program 
Now here you need to spend some time. Look for the applications which you use and the application which you do not use or very rarely use, you can uninstall it. So in this manner, the load will be less in your computer and you will also free up space in your computer. Right, so you just need to do a right click and just click on uninstall. So you can check one by one which all applications you need and which all applications you do not need. Once this is done, you can close this window and now again do a right click in the start icon and go to run and here type sysdm.cpl. Once you have typed it, click on OK and this will open up the system properties. So here you will see the computer name, description, hardware, uh, advanced system protection. So we will go to advanced and from here you will find performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. So I'll click on that and here uh, if it's selected best for appearance then change it to let the windows choose or if you need more performance I would recommend to select adjust for best performance. Now all these tips can be done on Windows 10 as well as Windows 11 laptop. So this is not specifically for any uh, version of Windows like you can do the same thing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. It will work very well on both the versions. Once you have selected adjust for best performance, click on apply and OK. And in this manner, your computer performance will be better. Overall, look and feel might be different. So you can come back here and you can change it if you do not like it. But if your motive is the performance, then you can let it be. Let the windows choose or best performance. Once this is done, you can also check for infections. If there is any malware running in the computer, that will also make the computer slow. So for that, I'll open the browser and here you can type malware bytes and hit enter. And please make sure you visit only malwarebytes.com. This is the website. Here you can download the free tool and you can simply scan it. And once this whole scan is done, you can uninstall it. If you do not want to install any third party application, what you can do is you can click on this at the top right corner. At the bottom right corner, you have this shield Windows security, Windows Defender. I'll just do a double click and here go to virus and threat protection. And from here, you can either do a quick scan or you can do a full scan. So I'll click on scan options. From here, you can select quick fulls or custom. Uh, so I'll select the full scan because this will take some time and it might take one hour, might be uh, more than that. So go for the quick scan. If it goes well and overall performance is fine, then you can do the full scan. So you can do it on weekly or monthly basis. This is a good practice. <laughs> Once this is done, we need to update the windows as well. So it is a very important and good practice that you uh, update your computer regularly. So updating the windows is actually updating the definition. So your computer will be more secure, uh, faster, and it will have, if there is any bug, that will be also fixed because a lot of updates may fix a lot of issues. So for that, just click on search icon and type Windows Updates. And here you will find Windows Update Settings. And from here you can check for the download and install it. Once this is done, restart the computer and let me know how's the performance of your computer. You can go to the playlist of mine, How to Make PC Faster, where I have created many tutorials in different, like if you have startup issues, if you have uh, virtual memory, if you want to increase virtual memory, if you want to uh, free up space, if you if you want to make computer faster, there is one more popular tutorial. You, you, you can go to the playlist of mine, how to make a laptop or a desktop faster, and that will definitely help. So just after this tutorial, you will get that in the end screen, and you can watch that. Guys, if you have liked the tutorial, please hit the like and subscribe and also leave the comment and you can share this tutorial to your loved ones, family and friends. 
this will also help. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Have a wonderful day.